Hey guys, Doc here. I'm going to do a quick video today. I've had some requests to for me to share how to import uh, Thinkorswim scripts and how to save them to your Thinkorswim. Also, how to share if you have one that you'd like to share with a friend. Uh, how to do all that. So we're going to cover that today real quick. So these scripts are going to come in a couple of different formats. Uh, I'll show both of those to you. Uh, the first format is going to look like this. We'll look at this SSR label. And I'll tell you what these scripts are. Like this SSR label, what it's going to do is when a particular stock is on SSR, it's going to put a label up here in this top left-hand corner. It's just going to say SSR. That way you know right off the bat if a particular stock is uh, on SSR for the day. Okay, so uh, let's move forward here. So you click on that little icon. I did that kind of quickly, so let me do that again to show you guys. So this little icon right here, you click on that. And then this is your actual script here, okay? And this is one of the formats that it's going to come in. And I'm going to share a website with you guys today. I'm going to put a link to it in the description. I'm also going to put a link in the description for uh, my Discord community. I've had some people ask about my Discord community, and I'm going to put a link to it uh, in the description. And basically what it is is... I screen share all day long. That's you can hear it and see it. My trade idea scanners, all of them. I think there's like 14 different scanners on my trade ideas. Uh, of course, it has a momentum scanner, and also uh, Benzinga Squawk. So you can hear all of that. I think Benzinga Squawk's like I don't know a couple hundred bucks a month, and then trade ideas is a couple hundred bucks a month, and my channel is 15 bucks a month. So basically, you can have both of those things for 15 bucks a month, and you can also be part of our trading community where, uh, you know, we share ideas, we share knowledge, we share experience, you know, it's, we can always uh, learn uh, something from other traders, even if we, you know, learn from their mistakes if they're a newer trader. So anyway, uh, all of that stuff will be in the, uh, I'm going to put that the links to those in the description if you want to check that out. Uh, okay, so uh, as I said, uh, this website that I'm going to share with you guys is usethinkscript.com, and it's all just thinkorswim scripts. And the majority of the time, it's going to be in this format. And the reason that these guys put it in this format is because a lot of these guys that know what they're looking at when they look at a script, the, they want to see what all is in the script. They also may want to change a couple of things in the script. Uh, so they don't want the link version, which I'll show you guys in a minute. So when you're on that website, if you see this, uh, basically all you do is, the, you know, they'll put on there, hey, here's a you know, here, here's the script. So, right, you just take, you just copy the whole script, okay? You just copy there, and then you get out of that. Let's just pretend that we're on the website there, and we just copied it. And then you want to go into your studies. This is how you get it into your Thinkorswim. Go into your studies, and then hit create, delete, whatever's in there. It's going to always have that little default stuff in there. Start fresh, and then just paste it in there. And then once you paste it in there, you would rename it up here, all right? You don't want to name it New Study Zero because when you go to search for it in your scripts, you're you know you're not going to know what it is. So you know if it's a uh, you know I, you might want to name this one if you used a script like this, you would want to name it SSR Label, right? So you know exactly what it is when you're searching for it. And then once you rename it to whatever you're going to remember, you click OK. I'm not going to do that because I already have it in there. Um, don't want to duplicate it, but you would click OK, and it will save it in there. And then once you do that, once it's saved, then when you're looking for it, you just go back into your uh, indicators there. You would type in SSR, and then boom, there pops up, SSR label. Uh, and then you can just double-click on it and add it to your, your studies. And keep in mind, this website, I don't like to use it for these uh, miracle scripts that tell you when you're supposed to get in and out of a stock. You know, I haven't found that miracle uh, indicator yet. You know, if, if you guys find it, please let me know. So, but what I like to use it for is I like to use it for automation. So things that will save me time when I'm trading, like ORB levels. You know, ORB levels are very finite. There, there's no, I mean, if you're looking at a 30-minute ORB high, it's there's no guessing there. It's going to be a very... It's going to be a specific price, right? Well, if you have an indicator that puts out on the chart for you and on all of these different tickers, well, wow, how much time does that save you? 
right? You know, if you're looking at 10 different tickers that morning, um, and every time you pull one up, your ORB levels are already there for you, wow, that's a huge, huge time saver, right? Same thing with trend bias. I use it for trend bias levels. I also use it for uh, support, resistance, and uh, trend lines because I found that these scripts that I use for that, the ones that I use, uh, are very accurate. You know, I've back tested them and made sure that that's where I would draw support and resistance. Made sure that's where I would, you know, I basically match them up to what I would to what I would use. And uh, I found that they're very accurate. So that's what I like to use it for more for automation versus you know these. God indicators <laughs> that are supposed to be, you know, miracles. But uh, those are on there as well. Uh, what I would recommend is just, you know, looking around, uh, use ThingScript and uh, find find what you like um, and just check it out. Just make sure in the, that you back test, you know, everything. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys the second format that these are going to come in. Uh, and this is really nice, uh, this format, if you want to share with, uh, you know, with a buddy of yours or maybe in a group that you're in, uh, is uh, this a link format. So what that looks like, we're going to go back into our studies here. Let's just use that same one, that SSR here. We go and click on that again, and we're going to hit share. This is what you would do if you have a script that you want to share with someone, okay? But I need to share it so I can show you what the link looks like. So we hit share, all right? Then we hit share again. And then we hit, see the link there, this will disappear quickly, so I'll have to click on it. And let me drag this over. And so once you click on that, that share again, um, then it's going to bring you to an official Thinkorswim, you know, TD Ameritrade website. And this is Thinkorswim uh, sharing website. I always go down here to, and I click open manually, this little plus sign here. And then here's your link, right? And it says click to copy. So once you click it, it's going to automatically copy it for you. Let me move this back over. And then how you get this format into your system is, let me get out of this and get out of that. I like to start fresh so you guys are, you know, we're all on the same page here. And you go here, you go to setup. This is when you have the link format. You go to, because if you try and go to your studies and create and just put the link in there, it won't work. So for this format, you go to setup. You go to open shared item, and then here is where you paste your link. So you paste your link, you hit preview, and then there you go. Again, I'm not going to import it because I already have that script. I don't want to duplicate it. But once again, this is where you rename it. I wouldn't leave it the default name, think, think script underscore study. You're not going to remember all of that. So, you know, you rename it a RSI uh, label. You know, whatever you want to do. If you want to be able to read it, read it easier, you do RSI underscore label because it won't let you put a space in there. And then you would hit import. And then you go back, once you do that, you go back to your studies after you hit import and you just search for it. RSI. And here it is right here. RSI label, right? So, and then you double click and put it into your studies. So that's exactly how you do that. Okay, so that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. Like I said, I had a lot of people asking me about scripts and, hey, I have saw these scripts and I don't know how to get them into my system. Um, and that's how you do that. That's how you get them in your system. That's how you share them. And like I said, I'm going to put a link to that uh, Use Think Script community website uh, in the description along with my Discord in the description. And just keep in mind, uh, it's free. Uh, I'll show you the website real quick, actually. It is free. Uh, this is what it looks like, the home page. Uh, and it's free to register. There are some people that sell indicators on there. There are some people that uh, require you to be uh, in their premium membership or something in order to access their particular indicators or some of their indicators. But for the most part, it's free. Uh, which is really cool. It, you know, it's just a lot of different traders, like a big trading community, that really kind of get into scripting and make these really cool scripts that make our trading life easier, which is, you know, I'm very thankful for. So that's all I have for today. And uh, as always, guys, um, if you uh, liked the video, if it helped you at all, please do me a favor and like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment if you like. Uh, it really helps a small channel like me, you know, get off the ground. Um, and uh, as I always say, happy trading, and we'll see you on the next bit.